Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you a super simple to use DCTL I've created to give your footage a Technicolor 3 strip inspired color palette. Personally, while grading footage from digital cameras, I've often struggled to introduce a satisfying sense of color separation, and even after playing with tools like contrast, saturation, and hue versus hue, it sometimes feels like an uphill battle trying to shape the color distribution in a way that feels right. In this tool, I've used a combination of color crosstalk linear math, as well as a layer of carefully tuned balancing adjustments to create a very simple slider that will give your footage that complementary color palette. And also, I built this tool after being inspired by a node tree I saw on Greg Enright's Happy Little Node Trees YouTube channel. And so, in the spirit of sharing, I'll be making this tool available to you guys completely free and also unencrypted. So if you're interested, you can even read and modify the code yourself by just opening the DCTL file in a text editor. So the recommended use for this DCTL is more so in look development than color grading. This means that to make the best use of the tool, I recommend using it at either the group post clip or timeline level of your node tree. In particular, I recommend placing it before your overall tone curve and split toning, but definitely make sure it's after any shot to shot grading or individual clip adjustments. The tool applies a pretty strong transformation to the color volume, so it's best to apply that transformation uniformly to all of your clips and also to do it later rather than earlier so that your color grading still happens in your normal working gamut. So with that in mind, let's take a look at a few specific examples. For this test image, here's what it looks like before and here's after. And we can blend the strength to taste to decide how extreme of an adjustment we want to make. At the maximum, you can see that it pushes the image quite strongly into the oranges and teals. And by pulling it back, we can land on a spot that still looks natural, but with a healthy amount of pleasing color separation. Also, taking a look at the vector scope, you can see how the adjustment is compressing these overall hues towards this complementary orange and teal line. So let's move on to a whole scene and see if we can build this into a nice overall look. Here are our shots before any kind of look has been applied. And these shots are all living in a pretty similar space lighting wise, but there's definitely some work to be done in terms of making that lighting and the overall look a bit more flattering. Looking at this shot, for example, if we look at her skin next to her sweater and even compare that to the leaves in this trunk, uh, they all feel to me like they're living in a very similar space. Uh, they've all been sort of washed by this very yellow looking indoor lighting. And the result is an image that looks a bit unfinished. So let's use the slider and bring this all into a more condensed palette. And already, I think that's a really, really positive change. Uh, you can see the skin is now separating really beautifully from her shirt. And comparing that to the foliage color now, we're getting a really nicely pleasing separation. So let's take a look at our other shots. And yeah, I think in general, that's looking pretty great for all of them. So now from here, after this node, we can add in a creative tone curve or some split toning, for example. And we have a really nice look for this project. So that's the DCTL. I've made it super, super simple from a user perspective, but at the same time, I can give some really nice results as part of an overall look. Like I said, I'm happy to share this with you all completely free, and if you're interested in breaking it down and learning what it's doing yourself, all you have to do is open the file up in a text editor. I'll link Greg's video that inspired me to make this in the description as well, so feel free to check that out. Also, if you haven't seen the previous plugin I developed, it's a modern replacement for the HSL qualifier and HSL curves in Resolve, so if you've ever been frustrated by Resolve's qualifier not being color space aware or introducing a lot of ugly behaviors that you have to fix later, then I'd highly recommend giving that video a watch. Thank you for watching. Feel free to download this one through the link in the description, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you all are able to create with this.